Hi everybody and welcome to another video of Vintage TV and Radio Stuff. And here's something I have never bumped into before and that's a Kmart product. I found this at a Goodwill here in town about a week ago. Was shocked to see it, uh, mainly because uh, it survived all these years. It's uh, a Kmart clock radio with AM radio. I'm going to guess it goes back to the, at least the 60s, uh, maybe late 60s, early 70s. Kmart, uh, big popular department store, started off as the uh, SS Kresge Company and then grew over the years into that big uh, department store chain that fell upon hard times uh, in the early 2000s and now they're down to just a handful of, of locations left as far as brick and mortar Kmarts. Although you can actually still go online to buy products through Kmart, which is uh, owned by Sears nowadays. Of course, Sears is also struggling in the uh, brick and mortar department with not a whole lot of Sears stores left either. But back in the day, though, Kmart was where you, you got your blue light specials and you got... Uh, in you know, all kinds of great items and products and uh, this is the model 3030 AM clock radio pretty simple design really I have it in the off position right now if you look on the left there is a uh, sweep second hand there and uh, if you look right on the bottom that little thing right there is the setting for the alarm itself off to the right you have your AM tuner and your volume control. The off switch is right here actually. It's on off right now. To set the alarm you flip it over to auto and to turn on the radio you flip it over to on. And that's pretty much what you get with this model <laughs> at this point in its life, uh, just a lot of static, but we'll go into that in just a little bit. Here's the back. Tells you about the model number. Made by the SS Kresge Company. The interesting part is that the clock parts were made in the uh, USA and assembled in Singapore, and the radio was made in Hong Kong. And I'm assuming what they did was they assembled it somewhere in the US. I don't know for sure though. Uh, on the back also is where you can set the clock and set the alarm. You pull out that button to set the time and you push the button in to set the alarm. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this on again. And as you heard, there's a lot of nothing here, a lot of static. These volume controls and the tuner control are obviously very sensitive over the years. Probably needs a good cleaning. Earlier I was able to get something in here. There's only one AM station in the area. And this is pretty much where it is right there on the on the Yeah, so as you can see, the volume control very touchy, also the tuner very touchy. If you are delicate and lucky, <laughs> if you're delicate and you're lucky, you can actually get something. So it still sort of works, but like I said, it could use a good cleaning. Um, the clock control works. If I pull this out, I can move the hands of the clock back and forth fairly easily and it does keep pretty good time I checked that out earlier it's a little off but you know what do you want uh, as far as setting the alarm I think that's trashed you can see that thing's just kind of bobbing around there so I can't get that to go anywhere uh, but once again it's you know probably from the late 60s and it's been <laughs> manhandled 
Uh, the top's got a little dent in it, and there's a crack at the back up here, too. But I'm going to show you the top in just a couple seconds here. It's kind of interesting. Here on the top, there are a couple of things to note. First of all, I think that might be the original price on the top of the radio, $299. It also looks like got a little cracked here on the top. There's a little crack right here. Also, you'll note that there's something that was hand engraved in the plastic wood grain finish. SRQ and then uh, 21807 or 9, must be a 9, 91. So it, it must have been a, a radio that maybe was uh, owned by a, a company and they decided to, you know, make sure that all their items were inventoried or what have you. And uh, when you Google SRQ, the only thing I can find is an airport in Florida called the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport. So I'm probably going out on a limb here, but this radio might have been a uh, radio somewhere at that airport back in the day. Once again, I don't know for sure, but that's really the only explanation I can think of or come up with for why that is uh, scratched on the top of this radio. So it, <laughs> I'm, I live in northern Wisconsin, so it, it found its way up here over the years somehow. And by the way, that's what I paid for it at Goodwill. So actually I paid, what, a uh, dollar more than it was uh, worth back in the late 60s, early 70s. And for those of you who enjoy looking inside the radio itself, here is what's inside. Power supply in the middle, speaker, the uh, clock mechanism on the right side, and the uh, radio end on the left. In my experience, finding a Kmart item is, is uh, a unique thing. Uh, most of these are in the landfill now, obviously, and this one managed to survive. It's the uh, Kmart Model 3030 AM clock radio. If you have any uh, comments or questions, leave them below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll have more vintage TV and radio stuff down the road. Thanks for watching.